Well, good news for you Motorola fans out there because we think that two Motorola devices just leaked. We also got news about the Google Assistant and Google Allo. And if you're like me who really wants to see LG succeed, we have good news for you. A pair of Motorola devices has passed through the Federal Communications Commission, believed to represent the Moto E4 and the Moto E4 Plus. The listings are for devices with model numbers XT1762 for the E4 and the XT1773 for the E4 Plus, with the latter believed to house a 5,000 mAh battery, what would be the largest battery in any Motorola smartphone. Tipster Roland Quant also indicates that the E4 Plus will feature a MediaTek system on a chip. The suspected E4 listing, meanwhile, appeared earlier this week, suggesting that it will contain a 2800 mAh battery and run Android 7 oh, Nougat right of the box. According to Phone Arena, the E4 will also include 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 4G LTE, Bluetooth 4.2, and dual SIM capabilities. We don't have any other details to go on thus far, but it is possible that the devices will have a similar ethos to the Moto E3 and the E3 Power released last year. Those phones housed identical specs save for the internal storage, RAM, and battery, which were all greater in the Power model. So when will these puppies be released? Well, last year's models were released in September, so that's a pretty educated guess. So are you one of those people who want the new Google Assistant button on your device? Good news. If you've been waiting for the new assistant button to make its way to your device, your wait is almost up. According to a response to a user on Twitter, Google's head of product, Amit Foley, confirmed that the assistant button in Allo is now rolling out to all users. Starting with Google Assistant, this is the service which can be called upon from within Allo conversations to answer questions. To make it more prominent, Google is putting the assistant icon right inside the Compose box. Tap it once to launch it and start asking for those movie show times or whatever you want. Next, Google is simplifying the GIF finding process. In one of Allo's most recent updates, Google added the Lucky GIF feature, which provided a way to share random GIFs with friends. If you prefer something more specific, the new version of Allo will help you quickly navigate to the GIF search menu just by tapping on the smiling icon in your chat bar and swiping left. Good news for LG because they are now making a profit but it may not be for the reasons you think. It looks like business has been good for LG in the first quarter of this year. The company has said that the operating profit is estimated at 922 billion won, which is around $812 million US. This is well above market expectations and represents an 82% increase when compared to the same period last year. The company's revenue is also increased. LG generated 14.6 trillion won, about 12.8 billion, during the first three months of the year, up by 9.7% when compared with the previous year. This is the second best quarter in LG for its history in terms of both operating profit and revenue. The finalized earnings report will be released later this month. But it's not because of the LG G6. Industry watchers believe that the improved profitability of the company's TV and home appliance businesses is one of the major reasons for the great financial results. LG has been focused on selling a lot of premium products in the recent past, including high-end home electronics under the LG Signature brand. I honestly gotta tell you, you, you watching right there, if you are watching YouTube videos on a mobile operating system, you're not just a geek, you're a mobile tech geek. Obviously, the future of mobile tech may be your thing. And Full Sail University's online and on campus mobile development undergraduate degree program can teach you the skill you need to take advantage of these emerging opportunities. In this degree, you won't just learn how to create apps, but to distribute apps and market that application from start to finish. Full Sail also offers an online mobile gaming graduate program, allowing you to extend your programming skills while learning how to improve the mobile gaming experience. If you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsail.edu forward slash authority to learn more. Hey guys, Jace here. We used to have these post-show chats all the time, but I did want to come back and ask you for suggestions. You see, it's post-flagship season. So there's a little bit of a lull in the news if you didn't know this week. There's not a whole lot of big stuff going on. So I wanted suggestions and recommendations from you on what do you want to talk about this Sunday for Android Weekly. Let me know in the comments below. Even better yet, follow me, bam, right there on Twitter and tweet at me and let me know your recommendations. See you then.